Hello, this is Vampire. Okay, we're going to start this video with where we left off from last time. And uh, single, single knife, and please make sure you use a training knife, okay? And it's how you put everything together, all right? Um, that is gonna, what's going to create a system. So just the individual techniques alone, fine, but it's even better if you now weave it into a system that has tactics, that it makes sense. So right here, I'm just going straight jab out like this. Now, footwork-wise, I was asked, and I'm sorry, uh, I'm not in a good location for that. Um, go ahead and use boxing footwork. Okay, that's a very, very good base. So it can't go wrong with that. Start with some boxing footwork, and you're throwing out your jab like so. So even though I'm holding a knife, the key point is I'm just throwing boom, boom. Boom, I'm throwing a jab. Now, of course, I could still hit with the top part. I could still hit with the, this area, more the lower part of the blade. I could even hit with fist area, which also includes the guard. And then I could even hit with the, the pommel, the butt end as well. But that, that's something that you can control and you do need to practice and actually hit a target that way. But throwing the jab. Now, once you do that, there's going to be several options that the opponent is going to do. And depending on what they do, it's going to change what you do, okay, because you adapt to them. So right here, boom, boom. If they move back, probably the most obvious thing, they start moving back. That's a good thing. You want them to move back. I don't want combat. I don't want to fight. I want to just survive. I don't want to hurt anyone. So if they start moving back, that's a good thing. Now, if they move to my right Boom, like they're trying to slip and they're headed towards my back because the weapon side is in my, it's in my right hand, my right side is forward and I'm throwing the jab like this and they start coming towards my right. At that point, that's where I could put in the fan motion that I showed you guys last time. So the fan motion is a very whippy fast strike, but it favors my right side. As you can see, it goes this way. So if they're coming this way, then I can change from here to that, to the fan motion right there. Now the other option is they start coming to the left, okay? So if they start coming to the left and I wanna hit them quickly, so I came over here, so they were, I thought they were gonna be over that way, so I, I did the fan motion, but then they quickly went to the left, and if it's a speed thing, I can fan back. Okay, so fan, fan, back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, okay? So it's just a fan motion right there. Now, if I want some more power, I'm gonna fan, fan down, unwind into a slash. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. It's that unwinding that I come from here to here in one smooth motion. One, two, here. So it's all smooth, it's all connected and I'm able to still incorporate power. So that's much better than like going here and then, oh, they're over here, and then trying to, that's stopped, it's not connected. Yes, it will have power, but I'm much slower that way. So coming, coming here, it's more connected, it's smooth, and I still am able to keep power. Now, if, once again, if I just want speed, I just fan. I can fan, I can keep fanning, right, left, right, left, and then back to straight. So you can adjust that, okay? It might be a little bit more apparent with the sticks because we always start with the sticks first and the stick, the length exaggerates the motion making it easier for you to put into your muscle memory and learn the body mechanics. So this is just straight out, boom, 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 boom. And remember what I said about turning that, putting that shoulder in instead of just going arm Boom, you could put that shoulder in. But so from here, if they go to my right, that's where I could do this. I could go boom, right here. And you can see it's a whipping motion and it definitely favors the right side over here. Now, if they go to my left and then I can go here to here. One, two, so I'm going here and then they go to my left See, that's the fan motion to the left side and back. So one, two, back. One, two, back. One, two, back. 
Now, if I want the power, then I'm going to go here, down into unwinding strike to the left. Okay, so that goes one, two, right here. One, two, three. You can see I fan out, fan down, and from the fan down position, I got to unwind into a slash. And that's what gives me the power from that circular motion. Okay, so that's all making sense what we learn with the sticks, putting it into the knife, and then making it into a tactical, like a strategy that we could actually use in a self-defense situation. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care folks.